All right, after you download International, all you gotta do is get your Game Shark codes ready, and I'll show you what file to go into. It's right here, Game Shark. X86-64 and you're going to want to drop your .txt file. You can make one by just right clicking, hitting new, and then text document. But I already have one made. I'm going to show you. Look at all these codes I was able to add. It's a European game, you know, normally you couldn't play this on an American console. And it even changes the video output. So, I got it. all the letters removed out of here. And it's pasted into this text file. You just drag it. <laughs> Gotta grab the icon, drag it, and drop it on this thing, Jen. Once you do that, it'll run that program and make this file. Right click, cut, and you're gonna have to have a USB drive formatted to FAT32. Now, this is all the stuff you're gonna have to have ready, it'll be in the descriptions. You're going to paste that file that we just made onto this USB drive. I was using this to make the Tony Hex memory card, but we're just going to make the Game Shark card on this video. So we're pasting that into there, and I'll meet you at the PS2. Alright, here is our PlayStation 2 with free McBoot. And a memory card with one slot. We're going to put it in our thumb drive. The correct way and transfer a file using launch off. All right, here's launch off. Just hit X. All right, then we're going to go to our mass storage. That's going to be O to get into there. Move down to the file that we generated. It's going to be R1. It's going to open up our window on the right. Go to copy, O, triangle to back out, and this right here is actually, MC1 is actually slot 2 on the PS1. So slot 1 is MC0, MC1 is slot 2. It's a little confusing. So we're going to slot 2, which is MC1, out to get into here, and then we just hit R1, that's going to pull up our window again, and O to paste. Now our save file is pasted onto our memory card, we get to shut our PlayStation 2 off. Alright, so we're taking our file. And we're going to put it in our PlayStation 1. we got Tony Hex International in slot 2. Put in our file in slot 1. And we're going to pop the lid open. And we got to put that game in that we were going to run, which is Rep Reload. And we'll put the lid open. Turn it on. And to activate Tony Hex International Free PSX Boot, you just hit the memory card. The lid open. And there we go. And there's our message. It says, press O to enable Game Shark codes at the bottom left there. And we're going to hit O, reading memory card. So I read our 23 codes that we transferred over to slot 1. And it also, you have to remove this card. Removing that card, once we close the lid, that will begin the boot up sequence. And there it says initializing CD at the bottom left. And the exploit start button. And 
it's an uh, import. Looks like the game booted. Game shark codes seem to be activated fine. We're going to test them, make sure they're running. This is a really sweet 2D game. <laughs> I don't know if you ever played it, it has this hook in it. Alright, and the power you can see up there, it's kind of screwed up. That's because the code's working. And that allows us to fire our ability unlimitedly. Now I'm going to show you real quick difference with the uh, cheat card version and if you have the cheat card version you don't you only need to use one memory card and you don't have to pull it out but you still do have to have the lid open all right just turn the console on and the message is slightly different because we can access the dashboard too if you hit x you can get to the memory card manager and cd player but also oh same button and that will read the memory card and this time I only have two codes activated because uh, you know I didn't want them all activated and then you just close the lid and once you close the lid it starts up the initialization process the same way but as you can see at the top it says ROM and well you don't need two memory cards just the one and then the cheat device in the back and that is the new Tony Hack International Game Shark function how to thanks guys